Today I'm going to show you five more advanced OBS tips to help you improve your DJ stream. Custom docks, soundboard, custom overlays, replay buffer, webcam filters. Hi, I'm Sai and welcome to my channel. I provide quality tech reviews for DJs and producers. I basically spend all the time figuring out all this tech so you don't have to. The first tip is creating custom docks. OBS allows you to create custom docks so you can keep an eye on your stream and talk to your chat all from the same window. All you need to do is get the URL of the box you want to put into a dock, in this case from Mixcloud Live, and go to View, Docks, and then Custom Browser Docks. You can then add in a dock name and enter the URL into the next column. Click Apply and your dock should now show up. Now you can chat to your stream and see all of your screens and sources at the same time. As South Korean people say, nice sir! Right, so the next tip is going to be making a sound effects board. So I'll just play a couple of these here for you now. Beat radio. Or... If you're listening to Drop Beats Radio, press 1. If you're not, press... Shout outs to Basics for recording us some of these. Uh, he's a beatboxer and he did these jingles for us. Now, I've set these up in OBS. Obviously, I could go over to Serato and put all these into the sound effects board there and trigger them from there. So I like to do a recording in Serato as I'm doing my DJ mix, take it out afterwards and then put that onto Mixcloud Live. So this is a way that I can have these jingles, play them out to the, the listeners, but not necessarily have them getting in the way of my clean DJ mix. As you can see here, I've got a sound effects scene. And what I've done is set up every single one of these different sound effects as a source. Let's just add one in again. So you'd go here, add them as a media source. Then let's add a new one, whatever. We want to make sure loop is not ticked and also restart playback when source becomes active is not ticked and click OK. The next step is to bind the sound effects to a hotkey. So we do that by going to settings here and then hotkeys. And we need to find the, the name of the thing which we called it. So let's scroll down. So we'll see all these here, but this actually isn't it. We've got to keep on going and find the individual name. So, so you can see I've got sound effects one and I've bound that to restart, number one. Okay, so let's press number one. Boom, and it's playing. We can also control whether we hear it or not by going here, advanced audio, settings and then we can change the audio monitoring here so we've got monitor off we've got monitor and output and we've also got monitor only so that's only us hearing it that's only them hearing it that's both us hearing it so right now I've got it so we both hear the sound effects so now we've got all that set up we need to make it so that we can play these sound effects from every one of these scenes because if we go to a different scene here we obviously don't have those scenes here, so we can't play them. If I press the button, it's not gonna do anything. So what we can do is then go to here and then add a scene as a source. So we can find our sound effects, add that there. And now when I press the sound effect, you can hear it's getting played again. So we can add that to every one of our scenes so that whenever I press one, we get to hear that jingle. Hey dudes, I'm just gonna interrupt the tips to ask for a quick subscribe and like if you're enjoying them. Thanks to all my current subscribers already. I really appreciate all your support so far, but I'd like to keep this growing. Getting custom looks from stream elements. To get the most out of stream elements, you really need to be streaming to either Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. That's just how it works. It works with proper integration to those platforms. I'm planning to do a video on this in the future, but as we don't actually stream to any of those platforms, I've not delved into it properly yet. I have realized one thing though, and that is that you can take the overlays from stream elements without having to be logged into the platform. That's because they run as browser sources in OBS. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So we go into stream elements and we're gonna to wanna to connect. So let's do Twitch for now, close that. And as you can see, we've got alerts and overlays, and this is where we wanna concentrate for now. We're gonna to go to theme gallery. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna choose a theme which we like. These are all kind of game um, related at the moment. For now, let's just take one and tweak it. Uh, let's just take this one for a laugh, Fluffy Bunny. And we could just call it Bunny One, because I think I created that earlier. So let's just create the overlay. And then we could take these now and put them into OBS and that's how it would look. But let's tweak it a little bit, shall we? So we can go into this 
and then we can click edit here and it's basically going to allow us to change the things so let's say we want to have this one we want to have the nice border with us in the middle so we go to edit depending on the platform you're streaming to you may or may not want these kind of things up here we are streaming to mixcloud live mostly so these things actually don't apply so we can just go through and delete all the stuff that we don't need i'll just leave it like that for now let's click save to put that into obs we copy the overlay url from here go back into obs here and let's just do a test scene here i'll call that bunny and then we're going to add the browser source here go to browser we're going to put in bunny one okay we're going to match the resolution of the overlay which is 1920 by 1080 boom right as you can see that is big because we're actually in 720 in this project so let's just make that a bit smaller so it fits and there you go as you can see we've got our overlay ready and we've got this space in the middle for our webcam so let's go here video capture device enable replay buffer this feature is really cool and it was first set up for gamers so they can go back and record their highlights after the fact that they've done them. But it can also be really handy for DJs who want to create highlight reels of the best parts of their mixes. To set this up, go to settings, output, advanced, replay buffer, and click enable replay buffer. You can then set the amount of time the replay buffer runs for. Once two minutes should probably cover it. The buffer has to always be running for this to work. To set this up, go to general and check automatically start replay buffer when streaming. You're also going to want to bind a key to save replay. Now when you press it, it will automatically save a file as an MKV, ready to be converted and chucked into your NLE and edited. The next tip I'm going to talk about is how to add filters to your webcams. So in general, webcams don't tend to look that great out of the box. This is the image we get in. It looks all right actually in considering, but I've got a big huge light there. I'm backlit and everything is super well lit. So you're probably going to want to have to tweak things a little bit. The way we do that is go to the webcam you want to change, click on it, right click, go to filters. You can see here that I've already added a color correction. So let's just remove that. The filters you're going to want to add are color correction. That allows you to change the contrast, brightness and saturation. And then for a slightly more advanced color grading, you can add this color grading one. And that allows you to tweak basically the different colors um, individually. One other thing which you can do is add a lookup table. So that is basically like a preset, I suppose, of colors and you can add one and it will basically tweak the colors for you and then um, it will give you a look essentially to your camera. So let me find one. As you can see, I've got a ton of LUTs here and you can get a lot of them for free from just searching the internet if you look up lookup tables. These ones are Leeming LUTs, so let's put in this East Berlin one. I kind of like the look of that. It makes everything look sort of blue and kind of desaturated a bit. Uh, obviously that's a bit strong, so I can bring that back a bit like that. I think subtlety is key in these situations, so let's leave that like that for now. And then we can add a bit of contrast, a bit more contrast back in maybe. Yeah, you just basically mess with it until it looks like how you like it. I'm not going to go into this too much in this video. I just want to show you that they're there and that's how you access them if you know what you're doing with that kind of thing. There you go, guys. There are my tips. I know some are more advanced than others, but you never really know what level people are coming in at this at. So hopefully you found something useful. If you want more streaming tips and tricks, click here. If you want some more equipment reviews and tutorials, things like that, click here. Peas and carrots.